back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Mariah. It's been a while since I've said those words, and it's since been a while since I picked up camera. Um, I just kind of want to give you guys an update where I've been, what's been going on, how's quarantine been treating me, how things have changed in my life. Um, so I'm gonna start by going off of. I apologize for months. I believe it's eight months that I've been gone, almost a year since I picked up my camera and I've missed filming and I've wanted to get up filming but I just never was in the right state of mind to pick up my camera and film and I didn't want to put out content that I wasn't going to be good content for you guys and how you guys deserve me to put out content um, and I see how videos are still growing and still vibing and you guys are loving videos that I've posted and I'm thankful for that. Um, I love that. So that has been motivating me to get back. It's the start of a new month. It's September 1st, so I'm back with videos for you guys, vlogs, hauls, um, and like I said, I'm going to put out content that I enjoy. So if there's if there's something that I'm not vibing with that I'm not that I don't enjoy, I'm not gonna put it out. Um, so I hope you guys understand that. Um, and so I've been, like I said, I've been heavy on the TikToks. I'm also on there, so I will plug that down below. If you don't follow me on there, do so as well. Um, I post little mini vlogs, but on here, you'll get the longer vlogs. And on there, you'll get like a little preview of what vlogs will look like throughout um, them. So, um, and next is where I've been. I've just took time with everything with quarantine um lockdowns vaccinations all the craziness that's been going on in the world i just wasn't in the mood to post um and i apologize for that um i know i've been saying i'm gonna give updated videos part two to videos and i just haven't delivered on that and that is my fault and my and i take that um so let's see what's changed i'm now down to one job i do still work i returned back to work back in April, I would say. April, Mayish. I returned back to work. Um, it was a slow opening back to where we were going. Um, so now we are at a full 100% of opening. So that is happening. Um, so I've been at work with that. Um, then we t I had taken, we took three months off because there was nothing happening at my job. Um, as some of you know, if you follow me on TikTok, I do work at um, one of the local arenas here in my city. Um, I'm not gonna give the arena. If you know, you know. If you don't, you're bound to find out soon enough. Um, just for my privacy and the price of my jobs, I don't lose it. I don't know if they're a fan of the YouTube thing. Um, you know, I know there's some rules in place of what we can and cannot do, but I just hopefully will eventually weed into that if that's the direction I choose to take. With video with certain videos and vlogs that you guys will see some of the behind the scenes but not everything just so i'm not giving away something that i'm not supposed to be um so the, yeah so there's that i've been back to work we start i started back to work at the end of last month so we are coming into a new month where there will be some you know days that i will be going to work and some days i will not um with that and i know i touched on in my in a very, very, almost probably a year old video of how lockdown has been. Um, so a lot has changed since that video. Um, I've learned who I was as a person through this quarantine, like the woman I wanted to be and the things I wanted to do with my life. So that was a big change for me. I got to learn who I was in quarantine and how I can put that into what I'm doing now. So learning just the things I don't like, I do like the things I'm passionate about, um, defending myself in certain situations. Um, I've never been able to do that in certain situations, defend myself, speak on what I've certain situations that bugged me or bothered me. I never found ways to do that. I always kept things bottled in. And now I've been able to release that, defend myself in situations that made me uncomfortable, things that didn't sit right with me. I'm now able to do that. Um, and it felt and it feels good. It feels good to be the indep independent person I'm always meant to be. Um, I'm a very independent person um, and I'm learning 
some ways to reel that back when dealing with relationships because with me I've been in relationships where I was predominantly the person who took care of everything so being able to allow someone to come in and do that is a little challenging and hard and I'm working on getting to that point but I'm also not losing who I am in those relationships and I refuse to do that and no person should so quarantine has taught me that a lot in my life like a very very lot of who I am and where I'm supposed to be um other things um mental health wise I know there's a video that I touched on as well um that has been my biggest struggle um just wanting just to stay in bed and not pick up a camera and not do anything but pretty much just lay in bed watch movies and just not have anything I wanted to do um, I'm working on that like towards the end of August and now coming into September I want to work on that I want to spend more time even if I don't leave my house spend more time out of my bed away from a TV take an hour away from TV and phone and just be with me and that's an, something I'm working on towards you know this month excuse me and what I wanted um so there's that um I am still single that never changed I don't think I ever mentioned that I'm still single um if you haven't noticed in videos now I have a nose ring um that happened a new tattoo on this arm has taken place um, so yeah, so a lot of things have changed in life and I'm so proud of who I am now and the mindset that I have now and just to be able to pick up a camera. And I know this vlog, this video is going to sound rambly and it's just, I just want to get it out. I don't want it to sound staged. I don't want it to sound like I'm reading from a script. It's me. So if I'm rambling, that's just me. And, um, and if it doesn't sound like it goes well, parts are missing. It's it's me. I like I said. I want it to be something that doesn't feel staged, that doesn't feel like I'm reading from something or I memorize something, jot something down. I just picked up, turned it on, and was like, I'm gonna go. I'm going to push myself to do this because it's what I want to do. I love vlogging. I love documenting things that I've done, things that I'm doing, um, whether or not be authentic for somebody else or people can relate to it or no one approves of it. It's something that makes me happy to where the world can, like where I can, not just the world, but where I can see who I am and the growth from my life and where I'm headed. Um, so yeah, it's, it's gonna be a long road. Do not get me wrong. I'm going to work on getting a schedule to where videos will post, vlogs will post. And I would love for you guys, if you guys want to see daily vlogs or a weekly vlog, leave it down below. Um, like I said, I pretty much don't do anything. That's why <laughs> I don't vlog because I'm just here. But I'm trying to change that to where I get out of my house, even if it's just walking around the city, learning new things, trying new things. If I'm out with friends, you know, sh show a little bit of that. Um. So yeah, if there is anything you guys want to know, and like I said, I'm sorry this video sounds really, really crazy, really rushed. Um, they said it will get better because like I said, we are going to be planning content and getting it out. Um, like I said, I do have videos that are going to come this month once I can, you know, figure out the gists and see where I want to take this YouTube channel in this direction with it. So, like I said, I hope you guys stick around and join me for the ride. Enjoy what's about to come. And like I said, and hopefully you know you guys can hold me accountable to still posting and keeping it going and making this a positive space for everybody knowing in the crazy time we live in um and then like i said i do i know there's probably going to be a big hot topic on this one and what's going on with vaccinations unvaccinated people how i feel about all that me personally i am vaccinated i live in a household with two people who ha do have under underlying health issues so I took the initiative on myself to do what I needed to do to protect my family and myself so yes if that is a issue I don't want to make this channel pop, like anything crazy I just want it to be where people feel open and safe to where they can talk and you can see 
someone who's just like you and I don't want this channel to feel like to people to feel like it's gonna change anything on me anything that may update itself it's it's me like I'm changing the person I used to be um if some of you guys don't know and I don't think I've touched on this yet on August 31st of 2013 which being yesterday this video is being filmed on September 1st was nine years since I moved away from home and if anyone knows me, I am originally from Florida. I am not originally from Massachusetts. I, my family does live here. They've lived here their whole lives. But me personally, I am a military kid, um, a military person. So I moved around a lot with my father when he was in the military. So I never had like a home, home, home state or city to claim as home, except for Florida because I've lived there the longest and that's where he retired out of. So that is where I've considered home for me as a hometown for me. So I moved here nine years ago and to look back at pictures of who I was and the things that have happened, it's a big accomplishment to where I am now. I was the girl who lost everything, didn't have anything to my name when I moved here but two suitcases of what I could take. When I moved here, I lived out of the white storage bins that, you know, people use to organize stuff. I lived out of those, out of that, and on a couch for two years. And then when I moved into the apartment I am in now with my mom, yes, I do live with my mom, um, just to be able to, because rent here is high. In, in Boston, rent is crazy. It's ridiculous for no reason. Um, so it is high for rent. So I am living, you know, where I'm at. Um, it, will that change? Yes. And like I said, that's, it's, that it will be something that is going to be coming as well. That there is a big change coming. And so I lived here with just an air mattress, that white bin, a glass table with just a TV on it. No dressers, no nothing. And do you see the transformation? How my, how my space is now? where my headspace is at now. I've come a long way. And I was so scared that I failed. I think I needed that failure to grow. And most people look at failure as bad. Yo, you shouldn't fail. No, some people need that because in the end, there's gonna be no person around you when you do fail. Or if you fail, you don't know how to pick yourself back up again. And so with me, I literally came, like I said, with two suitcases and just myself. I was angry, I was mad, I hated I hated the world. I felt like I did I was treated fair, unfairly. But then I looked back on it. I took what happened and I owned it. Yeah, there was people to be held accountable for, it, but I didn't go that route. I ate it all and said, "Hey, I did this. I took myself, I put myself in a situation." But now I got to figure out on my own how to get out of it and I did just that do I have moments where I relapse or you know think negative yes because like I said I'm still growing and I'm still learning new things about me that make me me and it, did it take 30 years for that it, it sure enough did but I don't regret the life I chose the things I did to put me in position in the position I am in um, because it showed me who I was, what I was passionate about, and you know who I who I am. It's my story, and it's, and it's still being written. There's no one who can take it from me. There's no one who can say that it was the wrong way to live. Yeah, people are gonna have their opinions, but those wrongs made me a stronger woman. It made me a stronger person. It can show that you can come from nothing and build your life up. Yeah, it may not be the richest or whatever, but you can make it where you feel that. And I know in my heart that I did what was done, what was right for me. And now I'm here, alive and thriving. And there's plenty of people who will sit and say, I'm still the same girl I was nine years ago because they're, they're afraid that I became something that they didn't create, that I created it. And that to me speaks volumes that 
people will still look at me as the same girl who made mistakes, never learned, is a failure at everything because they're so scared to see who I became without them and without their help. And to me, I accepted that. I accepted the fact in some people's eyes, I will always be that failure. But to me, I'm way more than that. I became way more than that without your help. And that's what scares most people in my life. And those people I don't need. If you can live in your past and not see me in my future, I'm good. I'm good. And that goes for anybody and anyone in any situation. If you feel like you're watching yourself grow and becoming something better and nobody is seeing your growth, it's because it's not because they don't want to. It's because it scares them enough that you don't need them and they want you to need them. That's why they will always down you, speak negative, speak negative of you. Is because they want you to look to live like them and that's what you're not going to do and I refuse to do that any longer I put people in front of myself above me and never stop back to look at me and say hey I need help I'm drowning but then again I'm gonna pick myself up and I'm gonna swim to the top on my own whether someone's with me by my side guiding me whatever it took me to losing the most important person in my life two years, three years ago to wake the hell up and say, hey, <laughs> you're better. Someone saw better in you. And you have little nieces and nephews that see better in you. And that's what kept me going. And if you take anything away from this video today, know that you're not alone. You, have, you can reach out to resources to get help and don't feel ashamed. Do not feel ashamed that if you seek counseling in any form of way to get better, do it. You're not wrong for wanting that help. If you feel like the people around you aren't giving you the help or are willing to help you and are just going to brush it off the way, go seek help elsewhere because you never know that one person who's a stranger who doesn't know you from a hole in the wall can be the biggest blessing you ever needed or starting to take good self-care of you like with me I'm starting this journey of self-dating and what I mean by that is I'm gonna date myself and show me what I'm supposed to, what I need and whether it be movies games that I've never been to, events I've never, games I just never attended, or things that I want to do with a partner but they never want to do with me, that were reasonable enough to do as a date. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm starting that this month, of where, you know, I, I, every, probably every Friday over a weekend, take myself out and do something nice or do something indoors since, you know, not everything is opening.